He wasn't just a world-renowned chef, author, and TV personality. He was also sarcastic, funny, and bold. I call my thesis, Why the French Don't Suck. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top five Anthony Bourdain moments. Boom! Bumper! Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of the most memorable on-screen moments of the influential chef and television host. If you look long enough, you start hallucinating. You start hallucinating ducks where there aren't any. We're excluding off-screen and real-life moments, like his feuds with other celebrity chefs, however. There's a lot to admire about Paula Deen and her, her life, but I think this cynical decision to, on one hand, sell people, be, you know, her brand is ex excess without guilt, and was for many years. Number five, when he visited a strip club with Alton Brown in Atlanta. Come here for some ribs and some more beer after. Wake up in your room. You're all sticky with barbecue sauce. That's a successful evening. The premise of the layover is to give travelers some ideas about what are the best things to do, eat, and experience when you find yourself between your departure city and your final destination. The South is supposed to be conservative, right? God fearing, Baptist, evangelical. So why is this the strip club capital of America? Bourdain typically spent 24 to 48 hours in the city in question. In this episode, he ends up at an Atlanta strip club with fellow TV personality Alton Brown. While their time at the Clement Lounge isn't life-changing, watching them take shots and share drinks with one of the dancers at this legendary spot brings us that much closer to them and shows us that they're not that different from you and me. You're gonna make it rain? You got your, you got your ones here? For her, I'm going 20. Number four, when he tried raw blood soup in Thailand. It's like CSI soup. I'm eating out of an open wound. If you've only been exposed to North American versions of Thai food, you're probably most familiar with dishes like Pad Thai, green curry, and Tom Yum. In reality, the dishes of the Southeast Asian country are complex, varied, and sometimes filled with blood. They, well, they put it into a hot soup. No. This is raw blood. Really? Yep, while visiting northern Thailand's Chiang Mai province, Bourdain got to taste raw blood soup, and he liked it. Actually, that's completely delicious. It's utterly delicious. Along with chef and Thai cuisine expert Andy Ricker, Tony also washed down his adventures with alcohol, lots and lots and lots of it. We guess that would explain the hallucinations. How did this happen? <laughs> How did I get here? <laughs> Number three, when he had steak with Bill Murray in New York. And just like that, I'm having lunch with Bill Murray. It turns out that he lives on the river and knows a hell of a lot more about the Hudson Valley than I do. While he grew up in New Jersey, Bourdain was a New York City boy at heart. So when he explores Hudson Valley, he even includes a trip to his old school, the Culinary Institute of America. My alma mater. But what's perhaps the highlight, at least to pop culture fans, is the time he spends lunching in Yonkers with Bill Murray. Known for his quirkiness, dry sense of humor, and general inaccessibility, the actor and comedian allowed us a rare glimpse into his life while splitting a rib eye with the No Reservations host, and we couldn't be happier. It seemed like Tony felt the same way. You just got a used PT boat. They have like a half a dozen torpedoes in it, so no one would ever really, you know, you yeah. wouldn't have that pirate issue. And then just go from island to island by PT boat. Number two, when he had dinner with Barack Obama in Vietnam. Good to see you. Mr. President, how do you like in Vietnam? Love it. As an American citizen, it's not every day you get a chance to see the president in person and in your own country. Bourdain didn't only get to see and meet then-president in 2016, he got to interview and have supper with Barack Obama while they were in the capital of Vietnam in this season 8 episode of Parts Unknown. How often do you get to sneak out for a beer? Very rarely. <laughs> the two men wine and dine, okay, more like beer and noodle each other, in a simple restaurant outside Hanoi and discuss topics ranging from the country's beauty to what it's like to be a dad. My daughter's eight, and, and she put ketchup on eggs the other day, and I, 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 I didn't know what, the good, what, what good parenting called for at this point. Buncha, anyone? Chilies to taste. 
I mean, if you have an important state function after, you might not want to you go to that. I, I, I'm going with this thing. You know, we're going to do what's appropriate. Number one, when he had to flee Beirut without finishing the show. The cars uh, with his Hezbollah supporters start to, to drive by waving flags and kids flashing the V for victory sign. Though he tackled the food and culture of Jerusalem and its surrounding areas in a 2013 Parts Unknown episode, it's the tense political situation he and his team found themselves in six years earlier during No Reservation Special that earns our top spot. I really wish you Americans didn't have to see this, you know, that's not the image we want to show. Not only did the documentary nab an Emmy nomination for outstanding informational programming, but it also allowed us a peek into the Israel-Lebanon war we'd have otherwise never seen. While the goal was to experience the local culture and cuisine, Bourdain and his crew also witnessed what life was like in a war-torn country, and it was all too dramatic, captivating, and real. People back home had gotten the idea that we're not doing a Beirut, no reservations, and that it would probably be a very good idea to get us the hell out of there as quickly as possible. The question being, well, how? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.